Hi folks, John with the Wingman 115 channel. Thanks for checking in. There's been a few channels here on YouTube that's been tasked with testing some VanQuest gear. One has prepared mine 101, Andy Tran over at Inner Bark, and myself. The pack that we're testing out right now is the Javelin 2.0. This is a traveling pack. Chris over at Prepared Mine 101 had a chance to do a video review on it. He sent it to me. I'm testing it out out here in the woods and I'm also testing it in an urban environment. When I'm done, I send it over to Andy Tran up in Seattle. He gets to test it as well. I want to thank VanQuest for allowing us to do these tests. Today what I'm going to do is take it over to a stump. We'll open it up. I'll show you how I load out this pack for what I do out here in the woods and I'll give you my thoughts on this piece of gear. Come along, join me. All right, let's do a down and dirty quick rundown of the capabilities of this Javelin 2.0. I like to start out with the retention system that would be the straps. And when I first received this from Chris over at Prepared Mind 101, came out of the box, I was just amazed of the quality of how well it's stitched, the fabric, the webbing. It just looks super high end. And it just looks old school, great quality, fit and finish like a lot of pride was brought back into making and constructing this uh, carry system. Now, here is attachment points. If you put a hydration bladder inside of your pack and you can do that by unzipping this zipper here your hydration bladder would go in here and there's a little hole right here where you can route the tube out and then you can attach it to the strap now the straps are held in place by these pretty stout quick disconnects and it also has a safety feature so you just can't squeeze these and the pack will fall off there's like a little safety switch here to undo it. I like that. That way, if you're like me, if it's going to happen, it'll happen to me, right? You don't inadvertently hit this and your pack fall off. Also, the little cross draw, I call it a cross draw strap, but that capability plugs right in. Standard, retains really well. Sewn in, really nice. And I've been wearing it all day. I found it really comfortable. Also has a carry handle here. Also has some Molly attachment points sewn in here. Tons of Molly attachment points sewn in. And I like the stitching in there and I'll bring it up closer. Just outstanding job. All the way around. More attachment points. A bungee cord if you want to hook something. To the pack, a little bit of Velcro if you're going to put morale patches or name tapes on there. And there's some Velcro also that has Molly attachments here as well. I hooked the uh, tops to home a field knife up just to give an illustration of how the Molly system works. And I just hooked it up this way. That way the knife doesn't sit farther down than the bottom of the pack. But you could configure this any way that you would like. Now, one thing you're going to find with this Javelin 2.0 is that it just has a ton of compartments. Let's start with the side compartment here where the Tahoma is. Here, I just put my little carabiner kit in here. And you've all seen this before. My thermometer, a fire steel, some tweezers, a can opener, a whistle, and my hunting license and a little container with some meds in there just in case you need them what i found with this pack is and i transferred a lot of stuff over from my camelback linchpin was that it had more compartments than i had gear for for my little walkabout today which is a good thing you like capabilities like that one thing you're going to notice with this as well is the zippers and i like how if you're traveling you could put a small little travel lock on there 
and see how the zippers come together with that little loop system right there they put some thought into that so you could secure this keep people out there's a little compartment here you undo the snap open this up I have a map in there secure it one way to keep your zippers closed it has a little snap attachment I like that feature little tension to detail I have a compartment here and like I said there's just a ton of room here's my show notes of reviews that I'm doing my Leatherman super tool 300 I have a compass have my fire kit in there some pens sharpie have a flashlight so there's a ton of room in this pack you have the top compartment and that has the same zipper as well that you could lock that up with like a travel lock if you needed to to keep people out in this you have a compartment up top I have some extra magazines for my Benjamin Marauder that I'm out testing today my cell phone don't leave home without it I shoot a lot of air guns that are co2 so I always bring a uh, thermometer with me I carry out in the woods because with co2 it's very temperature regulated some extra 12 gram co2 cartridges a tops whistle and you have a little compartment up here that you can put stuff if need be now for the meat and potatoes of this pack undo one of the straps here and open this bad boy up and it's meant that you could sling it over your shoulder and open this up in front of you and I really like how they compartmentalize this me today I put my GoPros in here I'm gonna be using this later on in a video shooting air guns set that down to the side I have my level 2 first aid kit never leave home without that my binoculars my rangefinder some gloves Chris in his video he put his laptop in there me I put some targets a little bit of paracord you can put anything that you want have a little sole bivy sack and I'm just using this to illustrate some of the stuff that you could carry in this have a windbreaker have a little hat never know if you get hurt out here you may have to spend the night and like I said there's compartments just everywhere here's another compartment here so you're limited to your imagination on how much gear that you could carry in this pack and you see how I've kind of personalized this to fit my needs and your needs are going to be different as well and this is what's great about this VanQuest has kind of taken that idea from the folks that put together the packs for photography and made it where you can compartmentalize these packs like this it's great I love that feature that way your stuff's safe it's secured I had my GoPros in there there's a little bit of a buffer zone they're not getting beat up they're not getting knocked around everything is quick and accessible you could even stuff something up here this is a win right here folks for VanQuest this Javelin 2.0 in my opinion is a really awesome piece of gear and everything just zips right back up stick your little finger behind the snap now you're good to go first off for me I found that it's really comfortable uh, some folks had had issues where they said the sling got a little heavy on their shoulder and it was pulling into their neck muscles I really haven't found that the case for myself I like how it has that little like cross draw strap pulls it tight the packs on there real snug it's not flopping around I like how the pack is compartmentalized and it's made out of some pretty heavy Condura so this thing is built to last I'm not gonna say that anything's bomb proof but you're gonna get a lot of years of use out of this I like how it feels I like the look of it yeah I have some knives that are molly attached or clipped on 
I'm doing an, some knife reviews out here today, but that's also to give you, the viewer, an idea of how you could attach some gear onto this pack as well. There's a lot of room I found inside of this. I normally carry the uh, Camelback Lynchpin in Multicam. You've seen it in a lot of my videos, and that works pretty well. I have to say that this system, to me, feels more comfortable than carrying my linchpin when it's loaded out. And one cool thing about this as well is you can also put a hydration bladder in this. So if you're out here on a walkabout and water's an issue, you're good to go. So the look, the feel, the fit, the finish, the zippers are tough, the fabric is tough. I like the way that the Velcro inserts, you can personalize it and make it fit your needs is pretty outstanding. VanQuest has done an outstanding job on this pack. If I had to rate it one to five, I would definitely give it a five. The stitching, the zippers, the fabric, the fit, the feel comes in a multitude of different colors. The price range isn't bad. And I think I'm going to find myself going online and purchasing one of these packs from VanQuest myself. I don't get to keep this gear. They're not paying me to say that. I am just appreciate the fact that they sent gear to three of our channels to test out. And I look forward to testing more of their gear. Give me your thoughts down below from what you've seen in this video, from my stump top where I show you the contents and how uh, the compartments are. Let me know a rating of how you feel the pack is, in your opinion, between one and five. One would be it's going to the boneyard, we're going to scrap it. Five means that it's a grand slam, we hit the ball out of the park. Folks, this is John with the Wingman 115 channel. I thank you for joining me today. Hey, get outside and play, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care, folks. Folks, if you like the content, please subscribe, like, and share. And for the latest channel updates, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and Twitter. Folks, thanks for checking in. Until the next video, take care. We'll see you.